Hey, everybody, this is Abby from Canada Fluffy, your favorite makeup podcast. Um, oh, almost flashed out. Oh my god! So, this is going to be um, a little different. This is part of our, of course, our programming. Um, look out for a new podcast tomorrow. So, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a, a get unready with me. So, um, this is normally you see us every day putting on makeup, doing makeup looks, and you don't ever actually see us take any of it off. So, what we're going to do today is you're going to be a part of my get ready to go to bed process and taking off of my makeup. So, we're going to start, and of course I can't do anything without a guest appearance. Here is a lot of dark. Anyway, let's see. I feel like this video is going to be longer than the other one. And it probably has less steps. Because you got the boom. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, so I'm going to pull this about a little bit past my hairline so that. I get any makeup that I got into my hairline out when I am washing my face. So, I'm going to tie this up. And we're going to get into it. Now, normally, I would start with a cleansing balm. That's, oh, did you come not this over? Um, I normally would start with a cleansing balm. Normally, I would start with a cleansing balm, but ain't no cleansing balm to start with. I use this for water now. I used all of my cleansing balm yesterday, I think. So no cleansing balm. So, um, I feel like this is too, this is too low. Better, better, better. You want to try the problem? No, it's not, it's right back up. So, okay, so first we're going to take off our lashes. Um, my lashes have been, ooh, wait a minute, ooh. First of all, it shouldn't hurt to take off your lashes. And if you go to tug them and they don't come off, you can take a little Vaseline and rub it on your finger and rub it across the seam where your lash, this, the adhesive in your lash meets your skin and it'll dissolve it and take it off. But normally, I can just peel mine off. Um, what I like to do is remove any excess glue from the lash. That's stuck on there, so I can wear them again. Okay, see, this is. A a step that they did not get on my other channel because I had already taken my lashes off by the time I got the idea to do this. Normally I use a pair of tweezers to be very gentle to get the love so I don't um, destroy the lash band. 
but still remove the excess glue that's on my lashes so I can wear them again. Because you want to remove the glue without tearing up the lash band or tearing the lashes out. Okay, done and done. So those will fit there. Like I said, normally this will be the time when I would put some either oh, I'm running out of everything. Either micellar water. That's some left. That's gonna be for my test. Um, or cleansing balm to start removing the makeup, but I don't have either of those things. So, what we're going to start with is just like we're just going to do a triple cleanse. We're going to start with this confidence in a cleanser. I'm actually going to do this step twice. Take a little cleanser. All over your face, down your neck, wherever you need. Put makeup. That's where this cleanser behind your ears, wherever you put cleanser. That's where this should go. Okay. And we're gonna start with our first pass. Try not to poke yourself in the eye like I just did. I want y'all to understand that this is video number this is video number five. Um, I did three reviews on my main channel and I did the podcast with Christian and we just finished the podcast. So and that's after working. Well, this is video number six, actually, because I did a live this morning putting on my makeup. So, because normally I would do a balm and then a cleanse, and a balm normally takes off 90% of your makeup, I'm going to do a second cleanse. Run right after the other. And the reason why the water stays running is because the water is um, running on the rag while I'm doing it that step to wash off any makeup that's still on the rag. Okay. From the previous pass. Okay, so that's gonna do that. So next we're going to do our white glove text. I'm gonna take a cotton pad and the remaining micellar water. Um and I'm gonna take the wet cotton pad and I'm gonna rub it like into my hairline and all over my face. Hopefully, wherever I put it, see, this little traces of makeup. It's not as bad after two cleanses, but I'm going to do a third. And now I'm going to use, because my lemon cleanser is gone. Do I have any of this left? I don't really like to use this Paris Hilton. I'll use this every once in a while, but I don't like using it because it has fragrance in it. 
and the fragrance is really, really strong. And it has glitter in it for some unknown reason. All right, I need some more of you. I don't have anything. This is Instant Natural Vitamin C Cleanser with aloe vera, coconut water, sugar cane extract, and green tea extract. What do you got? Well, the last of that for this last cleanse. When you cleanse your face like three, four times every day, you tend to run. You tend to run out. So. But this was barely a cleanse. But I don't know if you can hear that. When you you run your rag over your face and your face is so clean it squeaks, you should stop. All right, we're gonna try and turn the water off. All right, so now that we have completely cleansed our face, we've stripped all the makeup, all the oils, all of everything, we need to add some moisture back to our faces. So we're going to start with actual oils. So I have the Good Molecules Hydra, Ultra Hydrating Face Oil, formulated with Camilla C. Buckthorn Oils to hydrate your face. So, I get a stopper full, but I'm only using three drops. One, two, three. And I put all of the oils that I'm going to put on my face at one time. So this is the Good Molecule Squalane Oil. And I got, it's clear, so one, two, three. Last but certainly not least is Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. And this is pink. One, two, three. You can notice that I did not allow the dropper for any of the oils to touch my face. Uh, I'm not going to allow the dropper from any of thing that has a dropper to touch my face. The reason why is because the dropper is to keep things um, hygienic and to, um, and if you touch the dropper to your face, uh, your face is always dirty even if you just cleansed it and your face carries bacteria, bacteria will get on the dropper and then it'll transfer and then you'll have pink eye and pink toe and pink foot and everything else. So we are going to um, do a couple hydrating um, creams. So I have two creams and an eye cream is what we're gonna use. We're gonna use, I have two creams and an eye cream. If I can find, oh, here it go. Three things. The trio is next. So, first is the Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask, of which I use that much. All right, and we're just going to put a dab here and down here and rub that in. And then we're going to use some of the Avant Shea Butter um, 8 Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask. And this is a little thicker than the Dr. Brandt. And I'm only using that much because that is all you need. And it's $107. And Lord knows that's all you need. Okay. This one is a bit thicker. And it's a, it's more fragranced than the Dr. Brandt. So now I'm going to use Dr. Brandt's 24/7 Retinol Eye Cream with Ruby Crystal Complex, and I am going to take that much. That seems like a lot too. Make sure the top is on. Now I'm going to be very delicate. And how I just place this under my eye. Okay. 
that's it that's all all right and so lastly i am going to take some of this 111 skin cryo hydrating gel by harley st london this is new okay all right and she's thick as well i'm gonna put a drop here 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 there it's like a water gel um, and we're gonna, we're gonna rub that in. It's definitely like a water gel. All right, and last but not least, I take a little tea tree, um, tea tree and aloe vera face mist, and I spray my face. And that is the last step that I do with my face is now properly hydrated. All my moisture has been re-put back into my face. Normally, if it's on the once a week, I will take a good old sheet mask. And um, what I'll do is I'll start the process of taking off of my makeup. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh gosh. Um, and the sink water's running. Okay, so I'll take the I'll start the process of taking off my makeup. Um, when I get to the point where everything has been stripped off, I will take a face mask, put it on my face, and then get into the shower. And normally I'm in the shower 15, 20 minutes, whatever the runtime is for this particular mask. When I get off, I take the mask off, swoosh all the extra juice onto my face, and then continue my end of the night routine as normal. And that's how I end um, my um, regimen when I use a mask and that's on the weekends. So that is how I get unready for the end of the night. I wanna thank you for joining me. Um, if you would like to comment um, your nightly routine, what you do, what you don't do. Now I have the skin of a rhinoceros. I am not allergic to anything. I don't have any allergies, nothing breaks me out. So I can use, and my skin is normal to dry. If I'm going to get some oil, it'll be just around my nose. So uh, um, I can, I'm pretty, my skin is pretty Teflon. So if you would like to share your nightly routine on what you do to get ready for bed with us, drop that down in the comments. If you have any makeup questions that you would like us to answer on the podcast, email us at tatted and floody, tatted and fluffy at gmail.com y'all it's been a long evening i've done a lot so please like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and i will catch you in the next one good night